Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd. Continue on in our discussion of the statement of Sheikh Muhammad rahimahullah ta'ala Imam Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala who said اعلم رحمك الله أنه يجب علينا تعلم عربا مسائل الأولى العلم وهو معرفة الله ومعرفة النبي ومعرفة الدين الإسلام بيدلة الثانية العمل بي الثالث الدعوة إليه الثالث الثاني العمل بي الثالث الدعوة إليه الرابع الصبر على أذى فيه So then the Imam said after we already discussed the first three three things which was knowledge and the knowledge was defined as uh, knowledge of who Allah is in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning Tawheed, and knowledge of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and knowledge of the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. And then the second thing is practicing that knowledge. And the third thing is calling to that knowledge, you know, making, uh, pro propagating the religion, what you know, practicing what you preach, so to speak. And the last thing, the fourth thing, is being patient on that path because it's a steep path the path of knowledge seeking knowledge and talib al-ilm is talib al-jannah as we mentioned before that's what the salaf of this ummah used to say talib al-ilm is talib al-jannah the seeking knowledge is seeking paradise and of course the path to paradise is not an easy path you don't fall into paradise you don't just slip and glide your way into paradise. But rather, paradise requires from us striving. We were created in toil. And we have to strive in this life if we want that which is good. And seeking the knowledge is one of those ways, as we mentioned, one of the ways that Allah makes easy for us to get to Jannah. If we practice that knowledge. And so... That requires sacrifice, and that requires patience. And patience, ayu al ahabba, as the scholars mention, patience has three levels or three types. There's patience, fitaatillah, patience, ala maasiyatillah, wa patience, wa sabr, fi. Maqdurillah that patience requires from us that we are patient with the commandments of Allah by practicing those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with. We're patient on that. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa aqimu salah, Allah has ordered us to pray to, to make the salat. And the fact that we pray five times a day in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's not always that easy for everyone to get up for a fajr. That requires sacrifice is the point. It requires sacrifice to get out of your bed. Maybe you were up late. Maybe you were up late doing that which you shouldn't have been doing or that which is going to distract you from the remembrance of Allah. But yet you still get up and try to have some obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That requires sacrifice. To pray five times a day, to devote your, to divide your day. Your, the person who prays five times a day their, their day is, if they pray five times a day in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as they should pray, then they have to organize their time, organize their day. Your day is actually organized for you by the Salat. The person who's really uh, praying like they should, their day is, is, is regardless, even if they have nothing to do, they always have something to do. Because their day, oh, I didn't do that before Dhuhr. Everything is, is in relation to the prayer time. Their whole life, everything they organize. Oh, I got to go to work, but I should have lunchtime close to Dhuhr. Oh, I, I have this appointment at such and such time. Oh, that's close to Salat al-Asr. You know, everything, the way they think, it's all uh, organized, per pertinent to the Salat. Everything is pertinent to the Salat. That requires patience. And the second kind of patience the scholars mention 
الصبر على معصية الله is patience regarding disobedience to Allah meaning that a person is patient in avoiding those things which they have been prohibited those things which Allah and His Messenger والسلام, have prohibited us from that requires patience for us to leave that some people if they had a, an experience before they're becoming Muslim that they might have did had, were involved might have been involved in all kind of activities drinking alcohol uh, committing fornication all kind of different uh, prohibited activities and sins so it requires sacrifice to leave those things leaving music and so forth many people don't leave music but the fact is those people who are trying to be Ahli Iman trying to raise their increase their faith and they know that it's prohibited then that's what they uh, they strive you know that requires sacrifice some of us used to DJ and used to love music used to be involved in deeply in music vocalist play perform in front of people but it required great sacrifice to leave that for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal that's for, for Allah so this is that requires sacrifice to leave the sinfulness and avoid sinfulness because a lot of that sinfulness especially the things I was just describing go, tends to go in accordance with a lot of our desires we enjoy that's your your pre uh, predisp predisposition that you are inclined towards cohabitating that's your your nature as you become a mature adult you know a teenaging years teenage years and, and so forth you your body change your hormones you develop you're inclined towards the opposite sex that's natural but we just have to deal with that in a halal way in a lawful fashion that's the point that's what Islam encourages so that requires patience from us that we are patient by not doing the haram but instead we're trying to do it lawfully and then the last thing is being patient on the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the divine decree that Allah has decreed for us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everything happens for a reason it happens from his divine hikmah and his wisdom subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes we have you, you think you're doing something good and then something bad even happens to you what we consider bad or uh, you, you have a uh, uh, an accident with your automobile you this is a true story a sister and may Allah have mercy upon her and bless her a sister from the West was walking by the uh, uh, what happened recently in Egypt one of those uh, the uh, attempt, attempted assassination on one of the ministers and she happened to be walking to the bank a sister from from uh, one of the Western countries and her leg was blown off and my family went to visit her recently there in in Egypt and, and she said she was just talking freely and her leg is, is gone it, it, she, maybe she's still in shock because this was only about a week or so ago but she was only 16 years old beginning her life beginning that stage is when the when the women really feel themselves and start to want to beautify themselves and become attracted to the opposite sex and, and so forth and now her, her life has changed forever forever she lost her leg subhanallah that's what the, that's from the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's from the qadr and that requires patience to remain on iman that requires patience because not everyone can be tested the same some people they would lose all of their faith why me why me you know and 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 and, and so forth and some people they they can take they they're they're more patient and they they strive some people they lose their children I know people personally who've lost all their children and husband in automobile accidents and they're still known to be they were patient during that struggle all children all her children and her husband being in the same accident witnessing everything she came out alive but all of her her family died
May Allah have mercy upon her and mercy upon them and bless them all with Jannah to Firdaus, I mean. And others. This is a part of the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't always know the wisdom behind it. But where the Iman and the patience comes is that when that calamity strikes you, you're not going to disobedience to Allah and you're not uh, complaining to the creation and this and this and this. And may Allah forgive us because a lot of us are weak. I know that I'm weak. I'm not strong like that. And we hope to be better. But we tend to want to complain to our companions about this and that. Oh, my windshield got broken. Oh, this, this got happened. This happened to me. I, I was robbed. I, whatever. Instead of trying to be patient with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is one of the levels of patience that we are commanded with. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says is evidence which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says which is evidence for all of those things we mentioned that Shaykh Muhammad rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned the surah in surah al, uh, surah al asr where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after a'udhu billah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim wal asr inna al-insana lafi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amanu salihati wa tawassu bil haqqi wa tawassu bil sabr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem by Allah uh, by the time Verily mankind is in a loss, except those who have uh, faith, they believe. And they do righteous deeds. And they call to that, meaning there's the da'wah. And they are patient. patient. All of that, that ayat contains all of the four things that Sheikh Muhammad mentioned. Because in order to believe, you have to have knowledge. You have to have knowledge in what you believe in. You can't say, oh, I believe in Allah, but you don't know anything about who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. You don't know anything about Tawheed. You don't know that He has divine names and attributes. You don't know that He's the creator of the heavens and earth. That requires that, that basic knowledge, at least, to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ amanu, Those who believe, that's evidence that you have to have knowledge. Knowledge of Allah, knowledge of the Prophet, knowledge of the religion of Islam with his textual proofs. And do righteous deeds. Doing righteous deeds, that means al bi. That means practicing the knowledge that you attain. And they call to the haq. Calling to the haq is da'wah. So that's calling to that knowledge that you gained and that knowledge that you're practicing. And sabr, the patience, requires no further explanation. Bi'idnillah on that. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala said وضعف هذا قول Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i Allah yirhamu He said Al-Khalik li hadihi al-Asha huwa mustahik li li ba'ah قال Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala لو ما أنزل الله لو ما أنزل الله إلا هذه سورة لكفتهم وكما قال that it was related on Imam Shafi'i رحمه الله تعالى that he said that if Allah had only revealed that surah meaning Surah Al-Asr that that would have been sufficient for the creation that would have been sufficient because it contains all of those aspects of knowledge and Tawheed and uh, you know being patient and Dawah and uh and, and implementing that and doing righteous deeds. So those are just some of the benefits that we gain. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the khlas, with the bad. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.